Right, pump some fuel up. Bit of choke. Throw off. Pull through. Hiya, um, um, good morning everyone. Um, so, this is the first. Uh... Alright then, um, let's try that again, and again, and again, and again. And I hope this is take seven or eight, maybe even nine. We now have the engine off. The camera on, the autofocus on, a new battery in, me in shot, and I've come to kind of tell you what's going on today, apart from me getting enormously frustrated with uh, my camera. One of the one of the problems is, um, as I said to my GP uh, last week, I've kind of got fat fingers in that I hit keys all wrongly, or when I when I when I when I go to do things, I, I don't do them right first time. And it's certainly true of the computer. I said to my GP last week, I'm entering a new and abusive relationship with my computer. He just doesn't seem to understand what, what I want to do. Same with the camera this morning, but I think we're there. I'll check this and then I'll come back and we'll have a chat, all right? All right, so um, aboard the boat and um, where I'm starting on is the projects that will take the, the basic boat as I built it, kind of finished it last year, uh, from a basic sail away version, which should have been sail tried by now, hasn't been, to halfway towards an expedition boat. And the thing I'm doing this morning is taking off the cover, the one cover in the boat uh, that was never finished, and that's the battery and storage compartments in the centre of the boat, taking that off. And we're going to go into the battery compartment, throw everything out, and we're getting ready to put an electrical system in the boat. And that starts with a couple of new batteries, wiring, switch panel, etc, etc, etc. And that's what I'm doing first thing this morning right now. Undone most of these previously. Etc. My fingers have a real problem problem with little screws now. And the storage compartment the lid comes off. The temporary going off the boat. And then this if you can remember it. Um, is where I put all the ballast in that can come out last year, so <coughs> can't even lift them this morning. So there's something like a uh, hundred pounds of uh, granite blocks from the garden in the centre compartment, which is going to be the battery compartment. So I'm going to take all those out as well. I'm going to clean all these compartments out and get ready for um, new batteries, okay? Alright! Oops! A bit hit and miss with the uh, chucking the box out this morning they are, they are really heavy. They're really heavy. Oh, uh, here's the thing. Just go sideways a bit. So uh, this is the storage compartments, or the, the main dry uh, storage compartments in the boat. And these are actually my uh, tools bags and bits bags. And I was looking for tools during the week to finish the trike with uh, and couldn't find them. <sighs> so, um, Compartment empty, and I'm just going to get ready to measure up in here for the batteries, 
give it a mop out because there's a, there's a bit of water in here and in fact here's some of the cabling already, already in place these are the main power cables from the from uh, from the battery so let's give it a clean out Right, um, well, that's the um, practical work session kind of finished for the day, which is pretty much emptying the centre of the boat. I've done that, so I thought I was going to have a quick a quick chat at the end of you know work session one. Uh, this is the first project uh, for the boat to move, move it on a stage, and that's to build an electrical system. As I said it's got to have batteries they're going in the center of the boat I know how big that compartment is now so I was about to say next year no, we'll, we'll run off into town and buy a couple of batteries and I'll be back in an hour and we'll carry on of course it's actually Easter so we won't be going into town to, to, to buy batteries at all so you know it'll be next week sometime but um, I'm trying to explain really at the end at the end of the work session uh, how I'm going about projects now I'm sure this morning was a really a bit frustrating to watch it was enormously frustrating to me when I just couldn't seem to do anything that I used to be able to do really quickly uh, so well we know a job a job takes so much time but to film it uh, it always takes tw twice or three times as long and to do it and film it when you, you don't seem to be able to control your own computer your own camera it just takes double the time still anyway ready to go uh, the project methodology if you like I'm working on one project so I'm actually doing the electrical system uh, as you've seen this morning and at the same time you know, I can spend a fair amount of time on the internet so I'm planning and organizing uh, the job that can happen at the same time and the second job I'm going to do at the moment because the, the jobs can work in parallel is to start building the second rig that is I'm going to build a mizzen mast uh, the boomkin is done that's that, that that that's ready to go and I'm going to have a go at building a main mast I thought about doing using the same technique as the one uh, for which I, I built the this the, the gaff sloop uh, main mast which is timber bird's mouth I thought that would be really difficult found it quite easy so I thought oh, yeah I'll, I'll have another go and I'll try and make a, a lighter, smarter uh, mast this time. Unfortunately, uh, I don't seem to be able to get hold of John Moody. That's the timber guy at the moment. Uh, his business says it's temporarily closed. I hope he hasn't had some sort of kind of medical event like I have. Uh, in the meantime, I'm working up the idea of an alloy mast. That's an alloy tube mast because I found this morning that I can I can buy. Uh, a six, six meter long uh, section length of tube of about the right section and I could buy another piece to double that with up to a certain height so I might I might I might go with that method and have the have the spar kind of smartened up uh, anyway so um, working on one project uh, thinking about a second project working myself watch very watching myself work very very painfully as part of my stroke recovery so kind of that's what I'm I'm doing here is also observing myself in action uh, learning how I'm learning if you like so anyway that's uh, work session one o over and we'll be back in a few days time this will be a few seconds time in video time with batteries and kit ready to go in the boat so I'll see you next time Uh, right then, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, it's now um, week two, uh, day two, uh, session one of the same project. That's the electrics project on the Pathfinder. Uh, I've, I've taken uh, quite a bit of morning off the project today because I had to do an urgent job, which is to repair my recumbent uh, trike, where um, a, lot of, a lot of things came loose yesterday on my last ride. The, the battery ended up coming off. It was all a bit of a of a shit show. So uh, this week um, I have a, a bit of a plan. 
It's a simpler plan than that last week. I, I only want to get one thing done this week. I think that's an important lesson uh, from the stroke experience. It's really just working on one thing at a time. So what I'm going to work on today, sorry, correction, what I'm going to do this week, uh, tomorrow, we're going to go and get the battery and I will also try and zip into the channelry, which is next door, and get some of the major components uh, for the electrical system. I think all I'll end up getting tomorrow is a battery isolator switch and I'll just try and put those in place. I think at the end of the week I will try and have a switchboard here just experiment with some of the placements in the boat of where these things are going to go and then uh, hopefully next week we'll start to wire some 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 of everything together so we've got some power going somewhere it would be nice to have maybe the power coming into the battery but that's a solar panel job can't afford that at the moment so that's going to have to wait a few weeks and um, hopefully by then I'll be working on the more, I think, more important project, which is the rig anyway. So, yeah, let's um, carry on with the, the work today and I'll, I'll try and catch up once in a while and, and, have, and have a chat rather than uh, where I ended up doing last week. Right in. <coughs> So um, just having a go with various packing materials to work out you know, how to um, wedge the, the battery all round. I think I'm going to have straps going over it to hold it down. I'll probably put a, another wooden a timber piece in here as well uh, to uh, put fastening points to attach the battery to. and. I think the um, battery isolator switch will either go in this face or just come into this compartment. It depends on it, what it looks like when the cover is down. I just want to add just one very minor point, and that's really to answer a question now, which I know will come up, which is why have such a heavy battery in the middle of the boat? Well, firstly, it forms uh, the main uh, part of the ballast. Uh, John Welford in his design says sail the boat with sort of 50 kilos worth of sandbags either side of the centerboard case. Uh, obviously I've got an asymmetric layout so the, the heavy weights can go in one piece uh, pretty much in the centre line of the boat as it is here. So this is the main part of the balance which is 50 odd kilos and just behind it in the cockpit I can move these is two water, water uh, containers of uh, 10 kilos each and that will form most of the time most of the, I won't call a fixed ballast but the 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 movable ballast in the boat so that's that that's part of my plan here as well 